Good evening, my dear friends, and welcome to Sunday Evening Vespers, the prayer of monastics in the Catholic Christian tradition, and usually said around this time. And this evening, I'm dedicating my personal prayer for a dear friend at the Unitarian Chapel, Fran, who's been busy supporting and promoting our two-day event raising funds for the Anthony Nolan Trust uh, here on the August Bank Holiday Sunday and Monday. But I was to dedicate prayers Tuesday evening, but our internet was down, so I'm doing it this evening. And I want to say we had a wonderful morning today leading the service for animal healing in the Unitarian Chapel in Kendall, our nearby town. <clears throat> and I've never seen so many pets in all my life. They were beautiful. And two little black bunnies. I wanted to sneak them under my habit and bring them home. It was such a beautiful, beautiful experience to be there amongst so many of God's little creatures. Anyway, enough of my rambling. I also want to light this light for each one of you and to welcome you to this table of love a table of Franciscan joy where we will break bread together in the name of the God of many names and none. And we welcome our dear sister Sue who has joined us on our live stream prayer channel and those who've not logged in and on our Facebook channel we've got our dear dear sister Mary in Michigan. Welcome Mary, Frances Mays and Lisa Marie Mosey. Welcome. Joyce, Christiansen, Eileen Anglin, Arnold Ferdinands, welcome. Rebecca Elizabeth Richard, good morning, or oh, good evening. Isabella Wesloy, and dear Paula Lovick, and whoever else may join us, welcome. And now we ring our bells and we call on the Holy Spirit of God. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our prayers this evening of Vespers is for week 19 of the Church's year. But first, our evening, our evening hymn. And it's from the Unitarian Hymn Book. And it's hymn number 22, Come, strong God. Come, strong God, and walk beside us from the start to journey's end. Come and guide our faltering footsteps as a true and trusting friend. Walk with us as our companion, and our lives at last transcend. Come, kind God, and sleep beside us, so you may dispel our fears. Come and live among our dwellings as the dryer of our tears. Sleep with, uh, with us through the nights of sorrow till the new bright dawn appears. Come, warm God, <clears throat> burn strong within us, melt with fire our frozen hearts. Come and stir our minds and spirits, while in life we play our parts. <clears throat> Burn within us bright and freely, as the artist of our art. Glory, strong God, glory, kind God, and to warm God glory be. Glory unto your creation and its swirling energy. Glory unto all that's living in your glorious liberty. And that's by Andrew McKean Hill, born in 1942. And that is a lovely hymn. And now for the first antiphon of our traditional prayer of Vespers for this Sunday evening. Bear with me. <clears throat> the Lord's revelation to my master. Sit 
on my right. Alleluia. And our psalm is Psalm 109 from the Old Testament Bible. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will yield from Zion, your scepter of power rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains and from the womb before the dawn I beget you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. And the master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Let us pray together the Gloria. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, Alleluia. And the second antiphon, the Lord is full of merciful love. He makes us remember his wonders, Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 110. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and the assembly Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious are his work. His justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure. Standing firm forever and ever, they are made in uprightness of truth. <clears throat> he has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy his name to be, oft to be feared, to fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom to fear the Lord sorry and all who do so prove themselves wise his praise shall last forever and now together we pray the Gloria glory be to the Father Mother God to the Lord Jesus Christ our teacher to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end, amen. The Lord is full of merciful love. He makes us remember his wonders, alleluia. And the third antiphon, the Lord our God almighty is king, alleluia. And now we have a canticle reading and it comes from the book of Revelation. Alleluia, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. His judgments are true and just. Alleluia. Alleluia, praise our God, all you his servants, both great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord our God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory. Alleluia. Alleluia, the marriage of the Lamb has come, and the bride has made herself ready. Alleluia. And now together we pray the Gloria. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord our God Almighty is King. Alleluia. And now, my dear friends, we have a scripture reading, and the reading comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 to 5 in the New Testament Christian Bible. Blessed be the God and Father Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, who 
in his great mercy has given us new birth as his sons and daughters by raising Jesus Christ from the dead, so that we have a sure hope and by the promise of an inheritance that can never be spoilt or soiled and never fade away because it is being kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guard you until the salvation which has been prepared is revealed at the end of time. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> and the short responsory, Blessed are you, O Lord, in the vault of heaven. Blessed are you, O Lord, in the vault of heaven. You are exalted and glorified forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, in the vault of heaven. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. Blessed are you, O Lord, in the vault of heaven. And now for a magnificent antiphon for this week 19 of the church's year. Wherever your treasure is, there also will your heart be, says the Lord. <clears throat> and now I want to invite you, my dear friends, to join me for the beautiful canticle of Mary, known as the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God who is my saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and he scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. <clears throat> he protects Israel, his servant, you and me, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, <clears throat> is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the antiphon, wherever your treasure is, there also will your heart be, says the Lord. And now we come to our evening intercessions. God is ever creative, his love renews all things and is the source of our hope. Let us turn to God in confidence and the response, Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers. Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers. <clears throat> we give thanks for the order of created things. You have blessed us with the resources of the earth and the gift of human life. Response, Lord, accept our thanks and prayers. We give thanks for man's share in your continuing work of creation. We praise you for your gifts to him of inventive skill and creative vision. Response, Lord, accept our thanks and prayers. We pray for all the nations of the world. May those in authority work for peace and goodwill among all men and women, especially between North Korea and the United States. Response, Lord, accept our thanks and prayers. We pray for all who are homeless this evening. We pray for families searching for a place to live and for refugees driven from their homeland. Response, Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers. Life was your first gift to us. May those who have died come to its fullness in you. Response, Lord, accept our thanks and our prayers. <clears throat> Excuse me. When we went live, we dedic I dedicated my prayer for an amazing lady who does so much good 
and she certainly pulled out every stop to support and promote our two-day fundraising event here at the monastery on our August Bank Holiday Sunday Monday, 27th and 28th of August, where we opened the monastery gardens back and front to raise money for the Anthony Nolan charity who support all living with blood cancer and who require a stem cell transplant. So we praise and thank God for our beautiful sister Fran. Let us now bring all our requests by naming them, by blessing them and by giving them to God in a mindset of gratitude and love. Leave them with God and just keep saying thank you God. So let us do that now because we are in the presence of God. <clears throat> each one of you and your requests to a loving God who cares as much about your needs as about anybody else's in the world because your life matters to God. <clears throat> but we've had an email from our dear sister Sue before going live <clears throat> to pray for her dear friend Kay who lost her bunny recently and today I seen two little baby black bunnies Oh, my heart. Oh, I thought if my habit could stretch a bit further, I could shove them underneath and run out. But we pray for all our beautiful animals and we pray for those who are cruel to them. And for those who just abandon them as little puppies or kittens in boxes by motorways. People are so cruel, so cruel. So I pray, <clears throat> <clears throat> for the Wainwright charity who was there today that we were all supporting and the amazing work they do where they rescue so many sick and abandoned animals or animals who've been left to them because their owners have died. An amazing charity. <clears throat> but I also want to pray for Sister Sue and her family. And I pray this evening for here on Facebook, there's quite a few names. There's our dear sister Mary, there's Frances Mays, Joyce, Eileen, Arnold, Rebecca, Isabella, Paula, Gregory, Will, Eddie Holt, dear Carl, Alina Ferenz, Rhonda Arthurs, Ron Bogart, Sandra, dear Sandra Bunch, welcome, and Nosipfo, I just saying this simple and dear Arnold and for the many who will watch this recording I just bring each and every one of you and your needs to God at this hour but I also bring <clears throat> the many who've lost faith in God because of religion because of man's inhumanity to mankind I bring the, this beautiful world, God's creation, that was offered to us as a free gift to care for, to love and to nurture. But today many just disregard this sacred earth as if it's a rubbish tip and it's not. It's a living, vibrant, healing energy. <clears throat> and if ever I want to pray with God, I just go and sit in the monastery garden or go into the woods and hug a tree because my God is everywhere, not just in a building, but is everywhere. Anything that's living and moving and breathing, God is present. And that was the example of St. Francis of Assisi. 
and that's why he never slept in monasteries. He slept in caves and under trees because he felt closest to his God. Well done, Francis. But I want to pray this evening for our amazing spiritual leaders, for Pope Francis, for His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Thich Nhat Hanh, for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch and queen and head of the Church of England worldwide. <clears throat> but I also pray for all the men and women who down through the centuries from all faiths dedicated their lives to God, to peace, and to reaching out and bringing God's healing to others. And I pray for my own brothers and sisters here in our community around the world, living a very simple life <clears throat> where they've dedicated their heart to God for unity and peace. But I also remember tonight the civil leaders of our world, for Kim Jong-un in North Korea, for President Trump, that diplomacy will win out in the end instead of all this silly talk and playing silly games with nuclear weapons and threatening one another. We pray for unity and peace in this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God. And we pray for the innocent people caught up in this. And we pray for the animal kingdom, God's little friends that bring us so much love. <clears throat> and as I said today in my little homily and prayer of St. Francis for healing for all the animals present, God has no favorites. God loves the animal kingdom just the same way as God loves you and me. But somehow I had to be honest and say, I prefer to be amongst the monastery hens and doves and dogs because I feel safe and loved, unlike being with humans who can hurt very deep. But we pray for all humans, especially those who've lost hope, for those living with a mental health illness, for those struggling with life, for those lying in our hospitals and hospices and those who care for them. Let us bring all your needs and theirs to this amazing God who truly loves each one of us. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother, God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here today, tonight, our daily bread. Forgive us our disobedience, our selfishness, our impatience, the times when we've doubted you, the times when we've challenged you, the times when we've hurt ourselves and others. Lead us not astray, O oh Lord, but protect us from those negative forces of evil, despair, hopelessness. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And our closing prayer <clears throat> has been specially chosen for us. And it reads, bear with me, ah, Almighty ever-living God, we confidently call you Father, Mother, as well as Lord. Renew your spirit in our hearts. Make us ever more perfectly your children, so that we may enter upon the inheritance you have promised us. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus, the cosmic Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And that, dear friends, brings us to the end <clears throat> of evening Vespers. And now for a Celtic blessing from Iona. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this night and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forevermore. And as I come to blow out this humble flame, 
we give thanks to the God of many names for touching your hearts, for setting you free from worry and fear, and by empowering your heart to reclaim your divinity as a beloved of God. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of all that is sacred to you touch your heart to open to the love of a loving God. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me, my dear friends, and it's been a joy being back with you. But I want to send you on your merry way with a beautiful tune. And I was guided to do it whilst praying. And it's God's message to your hearts. I will love you all of my life by Charlie Lansbury. You may have heard it before, but I pray that you'll listen again. I will love you all of my life. You're forever telling me I would. But I'm criticized. I never speak. I prefer to turn the other two. <coughs> But I will love you all of my life. I can never do things right by you. I'm the kind of man who muddles through. You can find the sticks in all I do. But I will love you. Something foolish happens, can you see? In the middle of it all, there's me. Seems I cause you so much misery. But I will love you all of my life. through.